I got hiccups. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Let's just try it my way first, hmm? Remember that man is selling the artifact for a reason. He might be nefarious, but he might just be desperate. If everyone walks away with what they want, I'll call it a success. Ah. Still gonna keep that thing ready to go. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> so you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Not my problem. It is if you leave empty-handed. We came here in good faith. Now honor our previous agreement. You either figure out a way to give me what I want, or I walk out of here right now. I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now, what's it going to be? Uh, 
Aí. Fine. This thing is all yours. Well, Tom. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. All right. Yeah. Gotta do this old-fashioned way. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. Let's get out the planet quickly. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. I'd rather just chamber around and get it on. Like, let's do this. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I'm sure you do. Ah, oh, there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Alright, is this about to go my way? This clearly is an executive. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, go another way. Taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter dear, are you there? Lisa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the 
elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. <laughs> okay. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Fuck did you get here? How did you come from this way? The room below you is clear. Drop down. Stop. One of the doors that you ran into the open. I can push the safe route. It's the hard way. Did he armor swap or weapon swap in front of me? Bear lift. shooting at The gun down. This thing is so so cool. I love this gun. There's another one in here. There's the door. It should take you outside. <laughs> you expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. Oh, this is the door. She needed needed to give me those comms a bit a bit quicker, you know? Just a tad bit quicker.
pull the pistol back out. What'd you have? Folded. I, I, I literally don't know where to go. Move. How am I supposed to get up there? Wait, maybe? There we go. Now we're going higher. Aha, there we go. It's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. That 
It's kind of a lead now. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. And I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Yeah, I just got 10,000 credits. It was worth the, uh... Worth the 4,000 I spent. Oh my god, I thought we were going right into the building. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Yeah, that's not happening. That's not any type of ship I recognize. I want that ship. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on. Let's go. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the? Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves Star. Demand we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, claiming to parents. 
such things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human car? Are you finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. If We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can. Including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. <laughs>